I've heard so much about CERN. Um, our team said that they're going to bring all a lot of our astronauts to go for a walkabout. I flew 5,000 miles to come and see it because it was just a wonderful opportunity. CERN means so many, so many different things. I mean, obviously, one of our great Englishmen, Berners Lee, created the World Wide Web from out of CERN, and that has transformed so many people's lives. There are so many more things that, that CERN will discover in the years to come. So it was a great, great honor to have somebody try to explain it in simplistic language so people like myself could understand. We organise the community of future astronauts through a number of different things. They all want to go to space, but they also share a lot of other amazing interests, mainly space or space related. So we always go out to people and say, what's on your bucket list? And CERN came back repeatedly as one of the things that people wanted to see. So we put this trip together with the help of CERN. Um, and it has been our, our most popular trip, I think, I think ever. We have people from all over the world here today, from as far as El Salvador, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, the US, and all over Europe as well. I think that what CERN has shown us is that when countries work together, we can do extraordinary things. I mean, the moonshot was companies working in competition. Um, uh, you know, uh, Russia and America and incredible things were achieved then. You know, put 30 countries working together, I think we can, look at, we can overcome most of the problems of the world. You know, people didn't quite know what was going to come out of CERN. When private spaceship companies like Virgin Galactic are created, um, we too can, you cannot be sure where things are going to end up in 50 or 100 years time. But what we do know is that some extraordinary things, you know, will, will, will be accomplished.